it's Molly from make it as a dog trainer.com in case we've never met and you've never seen me in a video or in person or on zoom or during a class or anything like that. It's nice to meet you. And you apparently are burning out and I am a hundred percent on board with not doing that anymore because I've been there myself. I know exactly how that feels. I've been, I had my own dog training business for about 14 years. Oh, first I have to warn you, I'm in a hotel room because I'm at a conference. So I blurred the background as much as possible to kind of hide the ugly hotel stuff. But I wanted to get this to you quickly without trying to be perfect because I want, first of all, to give you the things that will help you out the most right now to get you out of this situation as fast as possible, give you the top things that trainers have done all the thousands of trainers that I've helped over the last 12 and a half years, all the things that have worked most consistently to get them out of this situation and give you that advice as fast as possible. And also give you uh, a couple of really time sensitive invitations as well. So first thing is that if you are burning out, chances are what that means is that you're not making enough money for the amount of time that you're working. You would love to make more money, but you cannot work more. You are, you know, like you would like to double your income. You can't afford to work twice as many hours. Like you just don't have the time. You're already overwhelmed, already spread too thin. It is the number one thing that starts making people hate their businesses as they start getting overwhelmed and burned down. And a lot of times it's from getting clients that are not that great. They, they give them a hard time. They don't follow through. They don't complete their programs. They don't listen or just not getting the right leads, not getting enough leads, and there's constant work to get more people. So you might be like a combination of burning out and also inconsistent income, or it's just not enough, it's not getting quite enough. So you might end up watching both videos, the one about struggling and this one, very common for people to be both. If that's you, don't feel bad. It's not because you're a dummy. It's not because you don't know what you're doing in life. It is just a common thing that needs like certain skills to just get out of like it's there's so many things in your business that are related to things that you can learn just like learning how to train dogs was a thing you needed to learn another thing that always needs to be learned continuously by all dog trainers and really any business is how to understand people what they'll buy what they want how to talk to them how to sell comfortably even if you don't like selling how to write what you do in a way that compels people to want to contact you when they read it all those things are skills and then also what to put in your programs and how to charge for them and how to price them and how to how to describe what you do that shows the real value behind it those are all skills as well. And when you're burning out, the number one thing that will help you the most is to adjust their programs, which might sound silly because you're like, well, then how, you know, charging more, how's that going to help me? I'm already having trouble getting enough people to say yes as it is. And you might know that if you can obviously mathematically make a lot more money per client, that that would help you make more money per client. But you don't always see how that's going to help you make more money in and work less. And it does if you do it correctly. Here's a story that'll help. There's a trainer that I know who has been through a few of my programs. And even so, even though she knew a lot of these skills, one of the things that tends to happen is over time, you might struggle or have a, you know something happen and you start to undervalue how good you are as a trainer or how good you are at whatever skills that you have. And you start undercharging or you start allowing people in that are not really great fits for clients. And then they don't get great results. And that further makes you feel like you're not that good. And then you further undercharge or you create smaller and smaller programs. And you eventually get things where you're working nonstop and you're not making enough money. Or you might have packages of lessons or hours where people come in and they do one or two lessons and then they stop. And you're like, what the heck? Like now I got to get more people. And it's just a constant battle to just get more and more and more people to compensate for the fact that nobody's doing enough. Nobody's sticking around enough. Nobody's paying enough. So, so this trainer came in and she was making on, she was already doing pretty well on her average in, income per client. Like it was around $1,500, but she was burning out. She was working like 80 hours a week and she wasn't getting enough clients. So she was only making around $6,000 a month, which for her with her expenses in her area was not enough to sustain full time. Like that just wasn't her potential and she knew it. The economy had changed. She used to be closer to like 10,000 a month and now it's just gotten tougher. So now she was making around six. This is back in November. So she got into one of my programs, which was at the time, one of my short mastermind programs. So it was a really, really high end program really, really exclusive small group of people. And she did this program and now she is in my other mastermind. So she is now four months into the year or now six months into the year. But when she was four months into the year in April, she had already made more 
in this year in 2024 than she had made the entire year last year. She had a $26,000 a month and her average income per client is over $5,000. She has a program that she sells that's over $6,000 to regular people for just regular behavior and obedience, like regular family dogs. They're not even rich like it's regular people and they want this program. It's not for reactivity. It's not for service dog training. It's not for therapy dog training. It's regular family dog obedience, regular people. And she sells this program all the time. And that is something that she learned how to do. That is something you have control over. It's just a skill. It's just something you learn. What do people want? What do they value? Put that stuff in a program, know how to talk about it, use the right words and, it, and you got it. You know how to do it. It's something that you can learn. So one of the most important things to know is that if you are burning out and you're not making enough per person or you're not making enough for the all the hours that you're working, that that is something that you can change. You do not have to wait until the economy improves. You don't have to wait until you hire another trainer. You don't have to wait until you get something else figured out. It is just about what you offer, how much it is, how you describe it. And then also other, other areas of your marketing, like what your website says so that you attract the people that you want as clients, how, how you talk to people so that the right people see the value in what you do and say yes and sign up and that you don't need that many people. Making more per person gives you so much more freedom because if you just focus on helping as many people as possible, you will help fewer people and make less impact and you will burn out and you will start hating your business and then you won't be able to help anybody. You will not be doing anyone any favors by just going for volume and helping more and more and more people. Help the people who are the best for you and get paid really well. That's really important. So focusing on your programs and changing those is going to be goal number one. If I was gonna give you one thing to focus on, that would be it, is being able to get, develop the skill to put together your program so that it has the things in it that people really want and that they'll pay for whether they need them or not, they just want them. Know how to describe those things in ways that make them want what, what you offer and know how to price it really wisely. So those are things that I can help you with and I do have free videos all over the place that do help in the meantime, but the absolutely fastest, easiest way to learn all these things is in my program called Peak, which is the one of the programs, that trainer that I just mentioned that she's in there and she's one of the alumni and she's ready to help you do exactly what she did along with a hundred other people. There's a link in the description. Just make it as a dog trainer.com slash peak. So go ahead and grab that and get in there as soon as possible. And if you have any questions at all, let me know. And I look forward to hearing from you. I hope this video was helpful and I will talk to you again soon.